Yo, what's good? This is Sean Christopher, the Inglewood Hero, and you tuned in to The Source TV at thesource.com, West Coast. So, I want to talk about Love Story. Um, obviously, when you name a project like Love Story, and people hear a title like that, they think of a specific concept. They usually think of a girl. Sometimes they think about the game of hip-hop. Um, but I feel like... When you named this project Love Story, it had a little bit of a bigger concept to it. Yeah. You know, um, I named this project Love Story just because, you know, one, just like taking it back, you know, my dad, he was, he was always so good at telling stories, man. He would just make like the funniest stories, like from beginning to end and just have you just sitting there like really listening to it. And I didn't realize that I had that gift as well until like years, years into my career. So with, with this project, I'm like, you know what, I want to tell a different stories just like my father did, but I want to tell him about just certain things that I love, you know, not just necessarily just women, but like I love my family, you know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, I love my homies, like I love, I love this rap shit for real. And so every song on that Love Story LP is just about, you know, a certain subject that I hold, hold dear to my heart or whatever. Right. So that's how, you know, I, I thought the, the, that's how Love Story would fit. Okay. Um, what was one of your favorite stories that your dad told you? Do you have time for that? Uh, man. Uh, my dad, he used to tell me all, all kind of stories, but he used, to, he used to say this this riddle all the time. And he would say, he would say, uh, you know why a broke man sleeps so sound? Is he, is because he had nothing when he first laid down. Oh, okay. You see know what I'm saying? All so, right. so I if got you, you. If Makes you, you kind of think about that. Yeah. So if you if you really got it, you know what I'm saying. You be sleeping lightly. You know what I'm saying. And those who who don't sleep into the you know sleep into the afternoon sound because they knew they really didn't have nothing to really protect anyone. Gotcha. So that's something he used to say to me all the time. Okay. Um. I also want to talk about um, working with Timbaland, what that's like. Was that like a dream of yours coming up, or was that just something that kind of you stumbled upon and it was like, wow, this is pretty dope, like I'm gonna... I mean, yeah, man, I've always wanted to work with Tim. Like when I was in high school, I used to make like like CDs of just like like uh, Neptune's playlists and like just Timbaland playlists of all the songs that they had charting and on the albums at that time, man. I would just listen to that, like that, that like, that sound from Virginia, like it, it didn't sound like stuff from the West Coast, but we, we really fucked with it. And so um, I remember watching Fade to Black, like uh, Jay-Z's movie mm -hmm. or whatever, and I remember watching that and I was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna work with this dude one day. I'm gonna work with Timberland one day. I don't know how, I don't know when, but like I just I already visualized. Like I, yeah. I watched that movie so much, it was like I was Jay-Z in that studio. I, I like visualized it and then I just made that shit happen. And so, yeah, it's, you know, you could sort of say it's like a dream come true for real, but it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's what we do it for. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't do it to just have our friends just know who we are. We want those legends to recognize us. So it's like, that's why I envision myself anyway, but man, it's, it's still an amazing feeling for real. Got you. What do you have coming up next? I know you're touring now. Do you yeah. have already kind of like plans for your next project? What kind of sound yeah, are you going man. for next? You know, like, you know, like, it's, it's crazy, man, because like, I'm predicting like, like, Right now, like everything is so like 808 heavy, bass heavy, knock. You know what I'm saying? I want to change that whole thing. You know what I'm and yeah, so I'm about to like my my next project is about to sound like like Kalisa's first project, like what? with these hard like kicks and stuff okay. like that. You know what I'm saying? If it's bass, it's gonna be like live bass. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like like real shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the only way to stand out. Everything is just so like we listen to songs now. We just wait for the 808 to drop. Like yo, that's right. right. But so like fuck that. It's gonna be like just like hard drums and just like dope ass lyrics and shit like that. I'm working with um this this like dope ass artist slash producer slash DJ from the UK. His name uh, Gang Colors. Okay. And uh, he's like super super dope. You know what I'm saying? And me and him are working on some stuff. Just to change the game, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta do every day. Yeah.